It is day seven of our road to 2200, and we are at 1944. Let's find an opponent. We find a 2008. All right, we get the white pieces. Let's go e4, and we're playing against the Cairo Khan, so we're gonna go d4, knight c3, and the bishop c4. The Von Hagen Gambit. F3. This is all theory. This opening is not loved by the computer, but it's a pretty tricky one. We're going to castle now. They're pretty passive with leaving in this bishop. And like in the fantasy, we have all kinds of tactics here. Knight here castles, and I think... Just wait a minute. I don't really know what's going on. I'm used to people playing bishop out, because that is technically the best way to play. I could try and bring the queen over this way. It's always an idea. I could develop here. I could put the knight out. Knight going here could be annoying long term. Maybe castles was not the correct move. Maybe we needed to jump in with the knight before they had time to go here or something. I'm not so sure. But it's a learning experience. We played that very quickly. So let's see. If I go knight here, I've got a feeling like they're going to play knight here. Pawn could always be an issue. Maybe we just drop the bishop back actually. Try to have some ideas on this diagonal. Since they were passive with this bishop, I don't think we're going to have any tactics along here because this bishop's doing a good job of protecting it. This feels like a step in the wrong direction, to be honest. If I just go here now, because they've created a hook. So I'm going to go here. This is protected by the knight. Yeah, now they developed the knight. I'm going to play this. We're attacking the pawn. So now that they've got a castle, maybe, and then we could take if they castle. How do you protect the pawn? I guess you could play here. All right, so they do go for that. But this just feels not that great. What if I just step up, hit this? If they go here, we can just take it. So step up, attack this. Oh, I guess this was the idea. Now they're gonna hit me with this. Yeah, that was very bad by me. Very, very bad. I just solved so many of their issues. Ugh. They take there. Kind of an interesting one. It feels like it shouldn't be right. What if I just take this? Okay, now let's jump back with the knight. This is being attacked, so they're going to either defend it or push. I'm assuming they'll push. We're just going to take. Queen's got to take. But they can't take because that would hang the rook. They could go check with the bishop, but then I can lock it. That's an aggressive friggin' move. They can play there maybe we just go here though let's just jump up so there's no fork if they push we can always move that does mean no no no. this is protected now i think i can go here unless they give this check if they give the check maybe i go there their king's in the center of the board mm, i don't love their position joza joza so my next moves i'm considering this or bishop e3 i think bishop e3 makes a lot of sense it's still protected here i don't see a way whoa the castle i like want to just take Honestly, I don't see a way through though. It also will like go back. Takes, takes. But I don't really think so. Wild stuff. Hmm. Here, maybe, maybe this is better to try and go on this diagonal. Check. We can always step out of the way. Let's do this. We need to connect the rooks. Okay, that's an issue. Hmm. Now they're going to take. Attacking this. Probably got to go queen here here do they have any tempo moves queen here they played this and we can't really defend both can we here takes i guess i can actually go back with the knight we protect the bishop and attack the queen not what i wanted to do but i think that's a reasonable move here we can probably play knight here down a couple pawns the knight can never move this is a pretty big threat is it though this knight's doing a good job i can always kick it away though then here and my king becomes soft on this diagonal that move felt like I should be able to play this, but maybe we go here. Or maybe we get the rook active. Yeah, I kind of like getting the rook active. Let's tempo. Let's try to get in. Attack that bishop. They protect it, though. It's annoying. But now their queen's way, like, way off. Attacking something else. So if I go here, let's... Uh, see I go here there's this here here though i feel like we just put the bishop on this diagonal i feel like that's just a move we're not we don't care about these pawns <laughs> the pawns don't mean anything at this point so if i take and they take like this we can take this pawn double attack 
but I mean, everything's going to fall apart if that's the case. Here, there's no more checks. I might actually play this move. They have to go here. Knight takes and this, and then maybe queen in. Rook takes. We're attacking this. It feels like we should be winning a piece here with takes. Maybe rook takes is actually a little bit better trying to control this square. Four minutes each. I don't know. I like what we got going. I think this pawn's going to hold some valuable squares. So let's imagine knight goes back here. Rook takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, attacks this, and this pawn will be hanging. Okay, so, I mean, it's pretty clear we take. And then if takes, we take here, I believe. Take here, what are they going to play? If they take, then we would win a piece. They're going to get this piece back. I think this should be fine, though. And they can't move the knight, so this would be checkmate. So we might actually be threatening to go here, unless this, but... That just loses a piece. Can't go here. Take. Yeah, but now it just takes. We're threatening mates, so they have to go here. Then this. Check. Wait, how is this working? Maybe we're not crushing like I thought we were. We're going to lose the knight. Takes, takes, takes. Queen takes. If I go check, I, like, I kind of have a draw, right? No. Here they take. I think we need to take this. They have to capture back. Then we're taking here. They take. We're going to tempo the queen. Here we go. Check. Got to be careful of checks here. That's check two. Let's move over. Ugh. Question is, if check takes check, is this something we want to do? Probably not. Okay, rook there. Threatens mate. I guess I have to go all the way back. So we got to play an end game down material. Basically, is what's happening, which is not good. Check. Okay, let's just take and then step up. Threatening this. He has a draw, because I'll just go back. I'm not going to the corner. Go here. Maybe I should have stepped here, actually. Check. Gotta be careful. Just got this check. Now, if I go to the corner, there's here. Maybe this is risky, but there's not, not that anymore. We might get a flag. Probably has to go here. It's free queen. And that's checkmate. All right, beautiful. That was a wild game. Did we just take this guy's 2,000 status away from him? Was he already at 2,000 for a while? Yeah, he was 2,100. Dang. All right, let's review this game. Pretty bad game. We played with a 66. They played with a 59. Yeah, so, I mean, this is this is the Von Hagen gambit. You just... You're going to be worse. But this... Allows us to equalize, but apparently we should play queen e2 to take advantage. What is the idea behind queen e2? Uh, they apparently have to go here. What if they play some... I don't even know. What if they go here? Then you're just going to start pinning. Bishop here. And then we castle. They castle. And you bring the rook. And I guess you just have a lot of pressure. But okay, we go for this, and then we reroute the bishop, which wasn't correct. It really liked that queen, queen e2 idea. But h6, they created a hook, and we should have jumped in with the knights. Going there with the queen was not good, because we just allowed them to have so much tempo. And then this move, and yeah, now we're worse. Until they play g5, they got really ambitious. Bishop here was the right idea. King over was right. And taking is a mistake because of knight c4. But we should have tempoed with the knight. And then queen d5 is needed. But then we go here. And this is a problem. But we go for the act of rook instead and... We miss a lot of opportunity to jump the knight in. I think I, with the knight idea, you needed to see that it's forking these. But, and then this is a big blunder because we can just take. And we go into the sequence, but I miss the idea. I did see this check. But I didn't see what happens after. Like, why is throwing the check in such a big deal? Because we have check here. And we get out of the attack. 
and we don't lose the piece. They have to go back. Oh, no, no, no. You pick up the rook. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyways, we go into this big trade and then we take, which is a mistake. And then they're just better, but they're low on time. And we just keep moving our king around. And then they hung the queen and we win. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, we got Pathrice playing d4. We're going to play e5. Fun little gambit. It's kind of trash, but it's ith. Let's go here. Maybe we'll switch back to the queen's gambit decline soon. Who knows? Go here. I just like how easy this is. It's very easy to play. That is what I like. Where the queen's gambit declined, I get a lot of good positions, but I feel like it's just I don't understand how to play them, and I know you won't really. Uh... Wait, what? What does that mean? You won't really learn how to play them properly until you actually keep playing them. And I also per should probably study my course a little bit more. Let's not hang the bishop. I could go here. I could do a couple things. Um, yeah, let's just protect it. This is a common move anyways. It's protected. Knight goes there. Just develop my knight. Big castle. I mean, it'd be all right. Should probably go back. Or I could play king over. Actually, there's n there's n I don't even need to do anything here. I think I can just play knight here. But then we hang the pawn. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should have been a little bit more aware of what's going on here. Let's take this first. I think we're losing a pawn. Yeah. Yeah, this is silly. Silly, silly. I mean, that was stupid. I don't know. We're... Uh, yeah. Attacking this. And I don't know how to defend it other than going here. And just push. And slide back. They're up two pawns, actually, because we gambited one. <laughs> I mean, if they go here, it's... Maybe check here. Takes, takes. Uh, I don't know. They probably want to be a little bit careful. They just castle. They got no worries at all. What about takes, takes, check? Is this something I need to be worried about? Like, what happens after this? Kind of check. Because this sacrifice looks very good, actually. Takes here, check here. I mean, I'm almost right. I'm almost checkmating. The only issue is they're gonna go check. We play king here. We'll have a fork, so we can't actually do that. It's so close though. What if we just attack the knight? Then this slide back. I feel like we almost have a win. Maybe we attack the queen first. Here, here. Let's attack the queen. Because I think we have a win if we can remove the queen away from attacking c6. Yeah. I mean, now they're attacking this, though. But then we can just run, right? There's no forks. So check takes. Then we go check. King has to go back. Then we go here. We're on the verge of mating. They take. Step here. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Like, I'm pretty confident. Oh, and wait a minute. No, they're still attacking this. What am I going on about? Here, maybe? No. All right. Here we go. We might be losing. But they're always being threatened. Like, they have to find a way to defend this or checkmate me. So as long as my king doesn't step to these squares, there's no fork. They can take here. I have to go here, then takes, and then back. But they go this way. But what happens after I just go here? I guess they go like this? Is that the idea? 
But then we attack the queen, then they go here, and we are lost. I don't think they played this right. Like they can't defend here. They can't go here. I should be calculating. What am I doing? Ah, uh, but they can they can just go back, right? If I go here, they can jump in, and that's gonna be mates. So I have to go here, and they can just go check and then go back to this spot. Yeah. Dang it. That was a good try. Unless they're going to take a draw. They might take a draw. Come on, go check again. I'll take a draw. Wow. They had a win. Like, they were winning. They were crushing. <laughs> they're going to be upset when they see that. Alright, so we did equalize here. Queen out. Could have developed a knight, but... All this came. We should have went back with the bishop. But I was a little bit just worried about this position. But apparently we're just better. We don't have to worry about any checks. We just step out of the way. We can't actually take. And then, yeah, this is just a big blunder. Because you just let the queen in. Like, this is all best. But the sacrifice does not work. Because they're still attacking this. Like, let's say that they went here I'm quite sure that this sacrifice works now because oh wait a minute oh well mm, okay never mind never mind never mind they just take the rook or they just take the or you just take the queen obviously so let's see what's a move that they can they went here let's just say make a random move and then they go here. This still doesn't work? Really? What is... Why does this not work? Oh, because they can take this one now. And it's kind of the same thing. They they have time to go here. And they can always stop the mate. So yeah, it's like... You do something like this, and then... Queen's forced away, and... It's no good. So anyways, yeah... My opponent got uh, a little bit scared here and repeated <laughs> in a plus five position. That is unfortunate. I thought that after he went back here, I could have swore that he saw the idea of just like going here and stopping the maze. But yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna take it. Oh, I have the desktop audio off. My bad. Uh, I guess you guys wouldn't have been hearing any of the. Uh, Sounds so. Uh oh, spaghettio. But we're what I was saying was we're gonna we're gonna take the win win, and the close draw, the lucky draw I should say. And end it there, because you know it's been rough. So one win and a draw, I'm very happy with. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you tomorrow or another day.